working on these fenders. Uh, I measured from the body line down, I, I'm doing two and a half inches, and from this body line up, two and a half inches. That way, the thickness of this is gonna be the same as the thickness of this. I made a paper template of the shape, that way I can transfer it over to the other fender and it'll be exactly the same on both fenders. Inside piece tacked in, and I tacked in a piece of eighth inch round rod right here to close up the gap from the fender to the door. Because once I pushed this in, it opened up the gap here in the middle. So I got this tacked in. I'm gonna go back with the TIG welder. I'm gonna TIG all this and TIG all this outside stuff, grind all that down. Then I'll pull the fender off, and I'm gonna TIG weld all this inside stuff from the back side, and then I'll be able to grind these down smooth from the outside. Sides all tigged and ground down nice and smooth. What I need to do is weld up these insides here. And the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to take and flip these fenders over. And I'm going to take them on this side, the back side. That way, the majority of the weld is going to be inside here on the back side, and I won't have much to grind down on the other side. Check it out, I got the fenders all welded and finished up. Cut out the center, put in the mesh insert right here. Now all I gotta do, I need to just go back, put a little small skin of bondo right here in the inside edges, make that all nice and smooth. And then a slight little skim around the surface out here just to smooth out any little imperfections and it's ready for primer.